Hello, I am Ember. Welcome back. I hope you're doing well. Tonight I am checking out a new group, kind of. <laughs> I've listened to one song by this group before. They're called Tan and I listened to Do Do Do. That is in one of the more recent compilation videos. So when I started doing the K-pop reactions, I checked out multiple groups in one video, just random songs and they were like compilation videos and then since then I've kind of started doing videos dedicated to each group um, because there's just so many re song requests for each group. Not too long ago I did do one more compilation video with a whole bunch of different songs in it. Tan was one of them and it was just the song Do 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 because I didn't have any other recommendations for them at that time. I now have recommendations for them <laughs> and I have people commenting on the community post recently saying they're still waiting for me to listen to more uh, music by this group so that's what I'm gonna do. I don't remember if I looked into them, I did, it, it looks like I did look into them but I don't remember anything. I also don't remember them having so many people. Um, I think in the compilation video I did just do like a, a very quick check into the groups that I was I was listening to songs for but if you guys don't mind I will quickly refresh my memory. So Tan is a seven member group. They were formed through a survival show, Extreme Debut Wild Idol. They debuted in March 2022 and they just had a, a Japanese mini album released uh, December 2023. Fandom name is Soda, special plus oxygen plus dynamic plus adorable. Fandom colors, they got four different fandom colors. Changsun is our oldest. He is, well, he might not be actually. Is he the oldest? October 96. He, he is. He's the oldest. Um, he's also the leader, the main dancer and the sub vocalist. He has an older sister. Uh, his family has a cat called Mimi. A nickname he wants his fans to call him is Sunny. His favourite colours are black and white. He thinks the animal he resembles is a mouse. His charm is his friendly face. His bucket list is to exercise consistently throughout the year and shoot a solo choreography video. His goal is to do an in-person concert. His favourite seasons are summer and fall because he thinks it's the best temperature. His favourite snack is potato chips. He has a habit of talking too much. He wants to learn to play the piano. When he's stressed, he works out. He likes mint chocolate. His role models are his parents because they're very diligent and he has a lot to learn from them. I love that. Normally we see role models are other idols in the industry, which is absolutely fine, obviously. But it's really sweet for him to say that his role models are his parents. He would take Sunghyuk to a deserted island so he doesn't have to do all the work. Okie dokie, we have Chuan. He was born in 96 as well, but at the end of the year. He is a main vocalist and lead dancer. His specialties are composing and playing the guitar. His favourite colours are vintage colours. He thinks the animal he resembles is a monkey. His goal is to be happy. That's quite wholesome. His favourite snack is a chocolate bar. He has a habit of crossing his legs while sitting. He wants to learn to play the piano. When he's stressed, he reads audio equipment reviews. Well, that's unique. <laughs> whatever, you know, whatever calms you down, I, I'm not going to judge it. He also likes mint chocolate. His role models are Jimin from BTS, Taemin and G-Dragon. If he had one wish, he would wish for everyone to be happy. Juan is usually calm except for when he dances. Then we have Jaejun. He is a main dancer, sub-vocalist and visual, born in 97. His specialty is acrobatics. All of these people so far are former members of a different group. But it's all like different, different groups. Like this is the third person and it's the third group. He's working as a music producer. He has two sisters. He trained for nine years. He has his own clothing brand. His favourite colour is black. His goal is to be loved by fans. His favourite season is winter because he likes the cold weather. Hell yes. Finally, <laughs> we got a winter person. All about it. Totally relate. He wants to learn to play the drums. When he's stressed, he works out. He likes to watch comedy movies. He doesn't like mint chocolate. I feel like they asked 
every person in this group, do you like mint chocolate? Because we're, we're getting everyone's opinion on mint chocolate specifically. Like, it's not something that they just happened to, to say about themselves. No, it feels like it was a, a structured question. If he had one wish, he would also wish for everyone to be happy. The last thing he wants to eat before he dies is the world's most expensive food. And he thinks he is the best body out of all the members. No, okie dokie. Sung Hyuk is lead vocalist, born in 99. His specialties are push-ups and jiu-jitsu. He acted in four web dramas. BAM Season 2, Summer Vacation, Winter Vacation, and High Touch. He is a dog called... Hokbuni, which means flower. Uh, a nickname he wants his fans to call him is... Sunghyugi. His favourite colours are lilac breeze and aqua sky. He thinks the animal he resembles is a honey badger. I, I think I, I remember reading this fact because honey badgers, I was like, wow, okay. <laughs> honey badgers are aggressive. <laughs> his charm is how his personality is different from his appearance. His goal is to be a versatile person who is good at singing, dancing and acting. His favourite season is fall because the temperature and humidity is good. His favourite snack is avocado. He has a habit of exploring good restaurants. He wants to learn to play the harmonica. When he's stressed, he works out. <laughs> they all do that. If he had one wish, he would wish for everyone around him to be happy and healthy. The last thing he wants to eat before he dies is his mother's cooking. He thinks he is the best body out of all of the members. He loves coffee. He would take Juan to a deserted island so that he can sing for him. Then we have Hyunyup. He is a lead vocalist, born in 2000. His specialties are writing lyrics and composing. His favourite colours are red and yellow. He is an older sister. The animal he resembles is a puppy. He thinks his charm is his cuteness. His favourite season is winter because he likes the smell and atmosphere. He wants to learn to play the guitar. He has a yellow belt in Taekwondo. When he's stressed, he eats delicious food. He doesn't like mint chocolate. The last thing he wants to eat before he dies is rose tteokbokki. Okie dokie. We have Taehoon next, who is a lead dancer, sub-vocalist and centre of the group, born in 2002. Specialty is playing the guitar. He can speak basic English. He lived in Canada for five years. He likes playing games and sports. Contrary to his image on stage, he is a quiet person. He sleeps with two stuffed animals. Oh favourite colour is lavender. He thinks the animal he resembles is a deer. His charm is that he is full of energy. His goal is to become someone's role model. That is a really good goal to have because that like shapes your entire behaviour and your entire like who you are as a person and how you approach things. He's interested in classical music. His favourite season is winter because he really likes the falling snow. His favourite snack is choco pie. He wants to learn to play the violin. His favourite movie is The Truman Show. It's such a good movie. I love The Truman Show. Uh, he likes to watch horror movies and melodrama. He likes mint chocolate. Is this person me? <laughs> so many things that I, I resonate with and I relate to with this. He is a pet doggo. The song he listens to when he's having a hard time is Zombie by by day six, this person is me. <laughs> I love that song. His role model is Kai from EXO because of his dancing skills and how he tries hard at everything he does. His unique habit is eating pizza with pickled onions. Okay, you're not me. And the last thing he wants to eat before he dies is ramen made by his aunt. Okie dokie, we have Jisung. He is main rapper, sub vocalist, and magnet of the group, born in 2004. His Specialty is producing. I misread that and I thought it said specialty pudding and I was really confused. <laughs> specialty producing. <laughs> He's released four mixtapes. He is an older sister. He talks a lot. His favourite colours are black and white. Jisung would like any nickname the fans call him. He thinks the animal he resembles is a wolf. His charm is his consideration and kindness. His goal is to become an influential person. The nickname he would give his fans is Togi, which means rabbit. Uh, the music genre Jisung wants to try or is interested in is R&B. His favourite season is fall because it's the perfect weather. His favourite snack is choco pie. He has a habit of gesturing while talking. He wants to learn to play a keyboard instrument. When he's stressed, he sings his favourite song. When he's having a hard time, he listens to I'm Fine by BTS. If he had one wish, he would wish for a lot of people to listen to his music. The last food he wants to eat before he dies is ramen. And that's it. That's what we're working with. Those are our people.
We got our seven people. So I did check the review form already to see what songs had been recommended. And there's a couple of recommendations that I've consolidated into a little sticky note here. Uh, and someone's written a whole bunch of text. So I'm going to read through that first and then we're going to get to the songs. Wrote you a comment about Tan and their connection to BL. <laughs> I don't remember that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I do not remember these guys having a connection to BL, but also wanted to formally request them with a bit of info. I'm so sorry. I'm I have a brain like a sieve, and I yeah, some comments they just go in and out, especially with so many groups to look into and stuff. As time goes on, I I do forget stuff, so I am sorry. Feel free to remind me about their connection to BL. I type in tan connection to BL. Is that going to come up with anything? Nope. The only BL related thing we've got is Manner of Death because there's someone called Tan in it. And then we go to tanning salons. So yeah, you might have to remind me, I'm afraid, of what their connection to BL is. They are the winners from the survival show Wild Idol, the only survival show that was mostly filmed in tents and without makeup. I was honestly shocked so many people with darker complexions made it into the group because of my bad experience with other survival shows and colorism. Every member was in a group before, which means this is a second chance group. Oh, I like that. That's nice. Everyone was of age when they debuted, except the Maknae who was 17. But as he was underage, the agency made sure, even if everyone else was shirtless, to stick him in a tank top, which gave me a bit of faith into them. They also don't have a set disbanding time. Interesting, because we have seen groups be formed with competitions and survival shows and things that have got not only... Uh, a contract ending time a lot of you know a lot of the regular groups you see that they can then renew their contract but some of them it's like two years and you're done no they will probably go on as long as they make money made you a playlist you made me a playlist oh this is tally oh so cool oh, you made me a playlist holy shit i've got more to look into than i thought okay well the other recommendation uh, just says Tan, Violet, Louder, Walking on the Moon, Fix You, Heartbeat, and Hypertonic. So we can just check that these are included in this playlist. And if that's the case, we can just start working our way through this. This is 10 songs already on here. So this is we're not going to cover all of these in one video. I want to throw that out there right now. So the only one missing from the playlist is Fix You. So we can, let, let, let's see what we can do here. Are these in order of release date or nah? Let's see if these are in release order or not. It's okay if they're not. There's a lot here, but they've not been suggested. This came out like two months ago. They've just had a comeback. Interesting. So it looks like they're basically in release order, but we're missing Fix You um, from someone else's suggestion. And then we've got this one, My Girl for Fan. Um, I don't, did we see that one here? Oh, there it is. So th this is in release order then. Oh, it's so nice of you to make me a playlist. Thank you. You went to a lot of effort with this. That's great. So Tally didn't recommend Fix You, but Fix You is one that someone else recommended. And that one is Between Beautiful Lie and Heartbeat. So here. So I don't think we're going to have to worry about that one in this video anyway, because five songs is more than enough to be going on with. But we can start and just work our way down, though. No? Should we do that? Let's do that. Okay. This is called My Girl for Fan. Um, let's go into it. I don't really remember much about the music video for Do Do Do. I just remember that I love the song and it's still in my playlist and I still listen to it. But I don't remember the music video at all. You get in their own introduction. So cool. Subtitles? The best we got, unfortunately. Hey, I always you. Anytime at all, I think of you. Not a man. He don't care, 
cute. <laughs> Those two at the front are adorable, no? <laughs> nice transition. It's one of those music videos again where it's like they have so much fun with it, no? It's so cute. Definitely giving like a bright fluffy concept with a really catchy pop song. Really nice song to listen to. I really do, do love the music videos where it really comes across like they have... Oh, I forgot playlists, they just go... Damn! So pretty! Um, the, the playlist just like rolls into the next one. <laughs> um, I love music videos where it feels like they have a lot of fun with it and they that you see them smiling and laughing a lot and it, it just looks really nice, you no, know, really wholesome and fluffy. It's a really good song, like the, the vibe is really wholesome. Bear with me a moment. I wasn't misremembering. This is the same group. <laughs> I was like, I, I was watching this like, I, I know it's like one of their first songs, right? Yeah. It's on the same, it's on the same album. It's on the same album as Do Do Do. Same album. No? Holy shit. I was going to say like debut, pre-debut time is always, you know, almost always quite a fluffy, bright pop feel uh to a lot of these groups so th this was kind of expected but i was watching it like th this is the same group that did the do 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 music video and i was like well i don't remember much about it but i just thought it was like a little bit darker and more mature so i, I kind of just went back to just like double check that i wasn't imagining it and i wasn't <laughs> it's quite quite two different vibes in their style and the style of the music video the fact they're on the same album is wild <laughs> absolutely wild it's really nice though it's very pretty all about it speaking of pretty look at the glitter eyeshadow this is called louder i don't know what we're doing with subtitles either we're just going to have to roll with it and see what we get.
Hang on a space bus? Yes, they are. That's a lot of trash. That bus has seatbelts. What a weird start to a music video. Talk about attention grabbing. That person's voice, no? Sounded really good. <laughs> Unexpected. This was cool too, no? Nice very cool line for him. the trash but they lost their shirts <laughs> this is so cool oh the trash is back there was so cool especially that music break at the end was so cool a very peculiar music video at least one of them having magical powers that gets rid of trash what's going on there wait there's still more i didn't want it to go to the next music video um this is like a behind the scenes the green screen look I really like that song. The the chorus really surprised me and then it just got like really catchy. I liked it straight away, but it still managed to like grow on me even more. It was really cool. <laughs> he trying so hard to keep a straight face. Definitely in the build up to the chorus both times I think I pointed out someone for vocals, right? The first time it was like someone with lighter hair uh, and then in the second part it was someone with dark hair. I'll probably never find it now. 
Oh shit. Was that meant to happen? <laughs> what was that? Interesting. All right, I didn't want it to go to the next music video. Um, let's see if I can find the people I was talking about. This person? Nice vocals, no? And then in the second part, it was... This person. Maybe I just really like that build up to the chorus part, I'm not sure, but I think they just sung that really, really nicely. The person doing the rap here as well, I really liked his rap. <laughs> really like his rap, it's really cool. That's a really cool song, I found that so catchy, honestly. Alright, what, what are we moving on to? Uh, wait, is this one... <laughs> This is a special performance? What is this? Is this a song? I never have the discography up, I always close it. Guys, stop letting me close the discography. Because <laughs> it always takes three to five business days to load. Maybe this? It's on the same album as uh, the one that Louder is on. It's just called Adorable. And maybe just because it was filmed in Busan, they've they've put adorable with Busan. I don't know. Well, let's just watch it. We won't know until we try it. Well, subtitles are not going to be helpful. Let's just turn those off. the same album as Louder. <laughs> There's two albums in a row, no, where they've had two songs on it that have been kind of extremes to one another. Like his voice. That was really soothing to listen to, no? This person is wearing a very valid and relatable t-shirt. It says, I don't want to work, but I want to make money. <laughs> same, dude. Same.
Nice vocals, man. It's really nice. It's a very chill song to listen to, and it kind of amazes me that it's on the same album as Louder. It's really interesting to see their versatility in that sense. So, the one that we are going into next is Walking on the Moon, which is this one. group is really surprising me. I never know what I'm gonna get when I click on one of these songs. Wait, subtitles? My bad. We do have subtitles. I didn't even think about it. Someone rocking the glasses, look. That person with the slightly lower register voice is really satisfying to listen to. Pretty choreography. We ain't got a problem. We all make your gumption. Just you and me. We got the chemistry. Yeah, no gamma do it. Who do we got some gratitude? Master my tap it to pitch you get out and again. Put it up there, no gravity is loving. Really like the gem, like teardrop under the eye. It's really nice. Very pretty. <laughs> he looks so offended. <laughs> Such satisfying choreography. Pretty. Yeah, see the teardrop one is so pretty. That's a very good look for him. That style suits him a whole bunch. And him, to be fair. No comment. <laughs> Very intriguing music video, no? <laughs> like the the non choreography parts was intriguing. I gotta catch it before it goes to the next song. Hmm. I think uh, that I mean the choreography kicks ass. No, the. The kind of walking on the moon choreography that they did it was so cool the style for their hair and then the, the like the gems on their face and everything they look stunning especially the person that we see at the end by the telescope this person this is an incredible look for him it suits him so much it almost looks like his hair is like damp 
and it's all it's all curly and wavy and then you've got the teardrop the eye makeup it looks really really cool on him it's such a cool look this person with the red hair really cool look for him it was a very sweet music video in places it really was and overall very intriguing <laughs> especially this person <laughs> i don't know we had someone rocking the glasses look. There's definitely, I think it might be a rapper in the group. It has like quite a lower register voice. It's like a little bit gravelly to listen to. And I think because there's a couple of vocalists that are really high register, I think having like his voice in the group, it, it balances it really nicely. So I really like it when we hear him. This is actually a good look for him with the, the blue sweater and the shorts, with the red hair. I think we've got two people with kind of reddish hair. <laughs> this person is me <laughs> just sleeping yeah see it's, it's something about this hairstyle i think it suits him so much really nice really really nice okay we're moving on to well are we yes we are okay so we'll listen to one more and then that'll put us on five and then next time we've got another five <laughs> here but we also have fix you I need to um, put in as well so that would be six in one music video so I think that balances nicely with this we've looked into the group and then five songs and then next time we'll have six songs and it will kind of balance them out next one is called beautiful lie and it was released a year ago subtitles very touch and go with this group let's see what we get I will turn them off if needed You never know what you're going to get with one of their music videos, if it's going to be the slightly darker concept with like doo 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 and stuff, or you're going to get something like this. They keep me on my toes. We have pink hair, we have green hair, we have red hair, we have blonde hair. <laughs> Got some more people with like little gemstones on their face, the little rhinestones. They're so cool. They look so elegant and pretty. one is very alien themed <laughs> them was it singing that high note in the background there's no way really nice choreography again they all sleepy <laughs> Seven little aliens. 
<laughs> Cute. No, we're stopping. We have to. <laughs> Yeah, it was like alien themed. <laughs> you never know what you're gonna get with this group. It was another really good song that I really liked the way that the chorus kicks in. I also really liked this. <laughs> He's just totally unbothered, like, yes, eat my food, it's fine. <laughs> we had lots of bright hecklers in this, which I really liked too. And the, the choreography was really nice uh, to watch. I feel like it suited the song a lot. That was really good. There's definitely a lot more songs from them that I really, really like. Out of the ones that we've listened to tonight, maybe Louder was my favourite. Closely followed by probably the other four, all tied. <laughs> They're really nice to listen to. So that's a good start for Tan. I will check out the rest of their discography. I'll do another video when I'm able to and we'll listen to the other six songs. Yeah, we'll start with Fix You. And then we go on to the rest of the songs in the playlist. Heartbeat, Violet, Hypertonic, Adrenaline, and Area. Um, and we can we can kind of get caught up on their discography. Area and Hypertonic and Adrenaline, those last three, were only released a couple of months ago. Um, so that would be really nice to see like what their current music style is like. All right, that is it for now. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Tell me anything you want to tell me about the group. If there's anything you think I should know before I dive into the rest of the songs. And I will definitely check out the rest of their discography really, really soon. All right, that is it for now. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.